Welcome to our channel, Consult Kriba, enlightening and empowering ex-impreneurs. We regularly share the exports opportunities for different products and different markets. In the previous video, we saw about what is an Export Promotion Council, roles and functions of EPCs, and a list of EPCs in India. If you haven't watched the video, the link is in the description. In this video, we will see about the Federation of Indian Exporters Organizations, Engineering Export Promotion Council, Projects Export Promotion Council, Chemexcel, and Capexel in detail. To receive the latest updates on exports and exports opportunities, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive all the notifications. Federation of Indian Exports Organizations, popularly known as FIO, is the apex body of all the export promotion councils, commodity boards, and exports development authorities in India. They form a crucial link between the international traders' community and the central and state governments, financial institutions, logistics, and others involved in export trade facilitating services. FIO was set up by the Ministry of Commerce in 1965 to promote exports from India. They support exporters from all industry and services sectors. They are an ISO 9001-2015 certified organization. The major activities carried out by FIO are They facilitate in bringing the attention of government authorities to the issues faced by exporters. They provide vital inputs in developing the trade policies of India. They provide access to updated trade policies to its members and through various channels, the exporters will get a chance to discuss with experts to understand the policies and seek clarification. They developed and maintains the Indian Trade Portal, which provides information regarding trade statistics, government policies, incentives, tariffs and taxes, all in one portal. They partner with similar promotion bodies abroad and organizes exhibitions, buyer-seller meets, and promote exports from India. Engineering Exports Promotion Council was set up in 1955 and has played a major role in growing exports of engineering products by multiple folds over the span of 60 years. They encourage MSMEs to bring their standards at par with the international best practices and promote buying from Indian companies in abroad. They act as a point of contact between the Indian engineering industry and international traders. EEPC supports the Indian engineering companies to upgrade their technology to boost exports from India. They organize Indi Indian Engineering Exhibition in foreign countries, an exclusive exhibition for Indian companies to promote their products. EEPC helps Indian companies to enter into partnerships, joint ventures with foreign companies. They play an important part in bringing the foreign investments by promoting the Make in India campaign through the International Engineering Sourcing Show. Project Exports Promotion Council was formed to promote overseas construction project works by Indian companies in the year 1984. They promote exports of construction as a project or the items used in the construction projects except for steel and cement. They assist the Indian construction industry to build strategic alliances with the foreign countries and also support in the transfer of new technology. They support Indian companies to participate in bidding as well as executing mega projects around the globe. The various construction items that come under PEPC are building construction material components like granites and tiles, wood and timber products, doors and windows, sanitary and allied products, electricals, building automation systems, construction equipment and accessories, Export Promotion Council for Basic Chemicals, Cosmetics, and Dyes is called Chemixel. It was set up in 1963. The various items that come under the promotion of Chemixel are categorized into four panels. The first panel is all about different dyes and intermediate chemicals used to make dyes. All basic organic and inorganic chemicals come under panel 2. It also includes agrochemicals. Panel 3 is in charge of all cosmetics, soaps, toiletries, and essential oils. Panel 4 covers the lubricants, castor oil, and specialty chemicals. The major activities of Chemixil include organizing buyer-seller meets, forming an Indian pavilion in international chemical shows, 
to promote the brand India. They help chemical exporters in getting their market development assistance and market access initiative claims from the government. They issue the certificate of origin during the exports of chemicals. They also support and assist Indian exporters in compliance with international regulatory affairs like REACH and CLP. REACH is the regulation concerning registration, evaluation, authorization, and restriction of chemicals. CLP regulation is concerned about classification, labeling, and packaging of chemicals. They are adopted to improve protection of human health from the risks posed by chemicals. While Chemixil promotes basic chemicals exports, Capexil promotes chemical-based and allied products. It was formed in the year 1958. It promotes the exports of a wide range of products, broadly classified into 16 categories. They also provide financial assistance to Indian companies through market development assistance and market access initiative programs. They provide their members with detailed market study and export trends of their industry around the globe. The various categories covered by Capexel are as follows. Animal byproducts, auto tires and tubes, bulk minerals and ores, graphites and explosives, cement and cement products, plywood and allied products, paper, cardboard and paper products, natural stones and products, Osane and gelatin, processed minerals, books, publications, and printing, rubber products, paints and printing inks, ceramics, glass and glassware, miscellaneous products. To receive regular updates on exports through email, subscribe using the link in the description.